Hi everyone, it's Rhonda with Ideal Body Image, Ideal Weight Loss. It's been a while, but we've been doing some cooking. I've um, been playing with a recipe for banana pudding. So I'm gonna hold this up because we I never do a printed copy of my recipes. So get a screenshot or pause the video. I'll hold this up at the end also, but banana pudding. So what we need for our banana pudding is you have two options. You can do a banana pudding packet and a chocolate chip mug cake packet. Or yesterday I played with the recipe and I just did two banana puddings. One fell on the ground. So that's what we're going to do today. Two banana puddings. You want a 16 ounce bag of frozen yellow squash, but you want it thawed because you're going to drain the liquid out of that. And then the extra kind of optional but fun is the kibosh dessert crusts. Um, this is what we use for the wafers, if you will. So I, I've got it in the air fryer right now, crisping it up, and I'm going to crumble that in. But this recipe could not be easier. The other cool thing about it is for my non-vegetable people, this is an easy way to get your two cups of vegetables and your packet. So this bag equals four cups of vegetables and two packets, so it, it can be a lunch. Now, also, I know obviously Thanksgiving is coming up, the holidays, who doesn't like banana pudding? So you could totally just take a scoop of this and a scoop of, you know, the pumpkin pie recipe I'm gonna make or the scoop of the dressing and let it all combine together and be your cup of vegetables. So one thing I do is I just pour this over the sink like this. I can still tell it's still a little bit frozen. The other option, if you don't wanna have to drain this, just cut the water in half in the recipe. Uh, both of those things will completely uh, work and it works even if you don't but it's I find it doesn't set up and it's not quite as puddingy as you would like it so the other key and I know for you some of my you know skeptical people Carrie Marita <laughs> they don't always agree or think my vegetable stuff is gonna work but both of them gave me the seal of approval on this they saw squash and got scared Putting the extract and the um, Waldens in first makes all the difference in the world. So we're going a teaspoon of banana extract in the blender. We're going to do, it's basically four tablespoons, but it's easier math to say a fourth of a cup. So a fourth a cup of Waldens. And again, I'm using sweet cream creamer. You could use caramel creamer. You could use caramel syrup. You honestly even could just use pancake syrup if that's what you have. When I used the caramel syrup, I noticed it kind of looked like butterscotch. Um, when I use the creamer, it, it stays very true to the, wow, that looks like a, a bright, beautiful banana pudding. And we're going half a cup of water. Now again, you could totally go a fourth a cup of water if you like your pudding more thick or if you don't want to drain your squash. Either, either thing, it's, you know, six of one, half a dozen of another. So, all of that goes in your blender. Y'all know I hate using the blender on the video, but I'm going to do that. I'm gonna turn that on, and while this is blending, I'm gonna just shake up and show you my pie crust. So, it'll be a little loud for a second. So here. So it doesn't take long nice and blended. It actually, believe it or not, you could put a spoon in this and eat it. Marita tasted it yesterday and totally approved. Kind of looks like applesauce. You do want to make sure you've got a bowl big enough to handle everything because the stirring, you do need a little bit of room. So we're going to throw this in a bowl. And if you like more texture, you could puree this less and have little bitty chunks of that squash. I know it sounds crazy, but it, it will replicate a banana because of the mushiness. Um, I just, because of the peeling, I try to make sure I get it all pureed down. Bright and yellow, looking just like some um, banana pudding. And then, easy breezy, but what we're gonna do is open our two packets. I get my pudding off my hands. So we're gonna open our two packets of banana pudding. And again, you could totally use the mug cake. What I found the first time when I used the mug cake, I really like the flavor, 
but um, after it's set up, it was a little loose. So if you don't mind a loose banana pudding, do it because you get little chunks of chocolate chips. And it, to me, that's kind of fun because of the texture. You know, we, we sometimes like that texture of our pudding. All right, so give this a good stir. And again, what I didn't highlight, but you're using basically these crusts. There's two in a package. If you're just making a double portion, what you're gonna do is cut it. And so you're gonna use a third. So you could make um, three. If you like this and you wanna triple it, which is what I'm gonna do later for my mom, do a whole pie crust and then, you know, crumble it all up in there. And so here is our basic pudding. My air fryer is done, so I'm gonna get my little third of this that I've been working on. And I just tear it up and put it in there. Some are soft, some are crisp. And this is kind of what, it's cool though, cause you get a little bite in almost every bite you get some of this. So stir this up well, put this in like a little, I have a five by seven pan. If you double or triple it, you can absolutely put it in a nine by 13 pan and then cut it into six servings and I made this one last night and refrigerated it just because I wanted to see the consistency but this is the final result and just so you know you get half of this if you wanted so this would be one packet and two cups of vegetables you could eat this for lunch or if you're a bar person for lunch and you're going to get the rest of your veggies at p.m. snack you can have all this a little dollop of ready whip and banana pudding, you have it. Carrie, you wanna be our taster? So here, I'm gonna spin it around. Look at her face. She's not always liking approving. It's so good. It really tastes like banana pudding. She's not a vegetable person either. She doesn't like my desserts <laughs> with vegetables, but. It's good, it's really good. Seal of approval. Yes. So I'm gonna give it back to Carrie and I'm gonna hold this up one more time and keep watching. I do have a dressing recipe I'm gonna do as well as a uh, pumpkin pie recipe. And for my clients that come in the clinic, whether you're mine, Carrie's, Joni's, Nay's, Marita's, be sure to ask for your taster. Banana pudding has been the taster this week. Pumpkin pie and dressing will be the taster for next week. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a great day.